It's no secret that my favorite character, at least my favorite villain in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, was Merrick. The guy was running my favorite card, the Winged Dragon of Ra. He played Lava Golem, and he just had so many crazy gimmicks, and his hair was immaculate. Look at this man's crazy-ass hair. Now, look at mine. My hair's also... I recently got it. It's not that crazy. But the sad thing about Merrick is his deck did not age well. It did not stand the test of time. A lot of his gimmicky cards just didn't really last. However, Master Duel has come out with a new event, the Limit One Festival. You can only have one copy of each card in your deck. So I went out of my way to create the Merrick deck because Merrick is joining the Limit One Festival. We have some of the trademarks like Hell Poemer, Legendary Fiend, Lava Golem, <laughs> New Doria, Drillock. The deck is bad. It's pretty bad. We have some stuff in the extra deck and some random little gimmick cards to kind of help keep the deck afloat a little bit. So it's somewhat playable, but uh, we're still, we're gonna win. We have to embrace our inner Merrick. He was always confident, always smiling, no matter what happened. So matter of fact, editor put Merrick's face on my body. <laughs> I'll win every duel. And I'm so confident. Matter of fact, I just won the coin toss. I will let God decide. Do I go first or second? Actually, I want to go second. I want to go second. I, I decided last second that I wanted to go second, okay? I control the Winged Dragon of Ra. So, Winged Dragon of Ra was the god that decided that I go second. Okay, having that extra draw will be important because, uh, what a Merrick starting hand, man. I, <laughs> oh, okay, let's see what our opponent's playing. Just a few face down cards. Uh, I will say that when I have played this festival with a more competent deck, it was a dragon deck. And if you guys want to see uh, that deck, I'll show you that later. But I run into a lot of negates, a lot of uh, Mechaba decks, a lot of Phantom Knights, and uh, just a lot of overall toxic. Oh, and then Sword Soul and Baron de Fleur. Run into a lot of those. Uh, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we don't deal with that too much. And even if we do, I will simply just find a way to win because guess what? In true Merrick fashion, I'll play Mystic Tomato in attack mode. <laughs> Look at him sticking his tongue. Blah, bitch, blah. And I will simply go into battle. I'm only keeping this card in my hand because uh, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't want him to play Harpy's Feather Duster and then just take all of my traps. So in case things get dicey, we'll we'll throw Mirror Force out there. But for now, it's the big Mystic Tomato. Matter of fact, edit my face into the card. Blah, I'm a tomato, bitch. Bro, this guy thinks I won't just beat him over the head with Mystic Tomato. Uh-oh, for Foolish Burial, this is this is gonna get his... No, 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 no. I forgot I needed to activate my Skull Invitation because I could have invited him to get burnt a little bit. Let's see what he throws away. It's too late for me to like get damage for this, but I could have done 600 damage just for this little for this little exchange, but I will activate it just after this. Just after this, I will activate it, especially depending on what he throws away. Because if it's like a super combo oriented card, you're gonna have to pay a premium. This is, matter of fact, hold on, what did you throw away? He throws away Tri Brigade. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and pop this now. Instead of saying Skull Invitation, just write Shadow Game, because this is what activates the Shadow Game. Let's go. Now you'll be paying a premium every single time you throw something into the graveyard. Oh, look at you paying the premium, boom! Go ahead. We in a shadow game. Kali Yuga, more like Kali Trash. Kind of wishing I put a uh, mirror force down. I'm not gonna lie to you. What, do you want me to lie to you and say that I wish? <laughs> He's probably, I mean, uh, there's a one one in the lifetime chance, one of 31 that he has, that he picks up Harpy's Feather Duster. So, I mean, the odds are definitely in my favor. I, I should have just played it. All right, standard tri brigade cards and stuff. You dare attack my Mystic Tomato? <laughs> <laughs> I should save this. I should save this. But should I? You know what? Let's do this. Let's watch this. Boom. I'll pay a premium. Ah! <laughs> I'll activate my Mystic Tomatoes effect. Now I can special summon any, and I mean any, card from my deck under uh, the 1500. Dark monster under 1500. Do you dare attack my Doom Dog? Motherfucker said bark, bark, motherfucker, bark, bark. I'll accept this. I'll accept this. Now I get to pick up my Lava Golem. But the only reason I didn't use my Nightmare Wheel yet is because he has the potential to bring out a Link monster that can just banish a card on the field. And I would rather have Mirror Force face down with another face down card. So then he's not tempted to, uh... oh, you're paying a premium. <gasps> Bop! But he, he did that. I know why he did that though. He did that because he doesn't want two monsters on the field. Because if he has two monsters on the field, They'll get Lava Golem. And I get it, man. I get it. Now he has this little trap that's gonna like bring out a bunch of cards and that's fine. He's gonna set it now. Boom, or right there. So we know what that is. Deruf. Ooh, 
legendary fiend. Legendary fiend in the building. Damn, legendary fiend in the building. Not my best pickup. Not my best pickup. Nope, it's not. It's not. Uh. <laughs> But I had to be supportive, you know? He's he's here, and you know, we gotta root on our team, man. All right, let's play another card face down. And you know what? I'm gonna play this, and if it gets destroyed, it'll 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 help me out just because I get a search out of it. And I really wanted to use holding arms in a uh better situation, but I might just need the extra line of defense. So I'm gonna just unfortunately, regretfully play it now holding arms is actually pretty decent i mean it's an n rarity it's it's pretty bad but i can target one face up card and then and negate its effects and negate it from being able to attack uh and my card can't be destroyed by battle or card effects when i do that but the reason i don't want to attach it to this monster is because i'm almost 100 percent sure he's just gonna link it away but i will say this if he goes in for the attack i'll probably pop my nightmare wheel now because i'm trying to get this fellow to pay more premiums you will be paying a premium for existing when you're dueling up against merrick i'm sorry and by i'm so <laughs> and by i'm sorry i mean hold that oh brother this guy plays nightmare unicorn <gasps> pay a premium so if he discards one card which he just did he can return one of my cards to the deck he goes for this and i'm actually glad he did that but if he just has one monster out here i'm definitely i'm doing the nightmare wheel play what a scary attack if it were actually scary i activate nightmare wheel not my best merrick line it wasn't it wasn't but go ahead now you can no longer attack and you'll be paying a premium of 500 damage every single turn brother but now i'm worried because i'm almost positive <laughs> i'm almost positive okay no because he has to go to main phase two he has to go to main phase two, so he won't be able to... Wait, unless... Does it Synchro Summon the turn that he plays it? So he's going to Special Summon all these because for some reason this busted-ass trap is... Uh, I don't know why this is an end rarity in the first place. This card is so good. Like, even outside of this. But now he can link into whatever, right? Yeah, he's going to bring out the level... The 3,000 attack idiot. It's going to banish a card. Boom! 1,200 damage! Boom! 300 plus on top of that oh you taking damage brother go ahead get rid of my mirror force i don't care i do care actually but what's crazy is even if he didn't get rid of mirror force i don't think i would use it yet he's going to but i don't think i would even use it right here he might get her a skull invitation because this card is cooking him this card is beating his ass he's got a choice to make he's got a big choice to make brother oh he gets rid of nightmare wheel so he wants to get off the attack but he still doesn't get the attack. Should I clear his board? But then I can't lava golem him. You know what? It's too risky to keep it on the field. I'm clearing his board. I'm clearing your board. You're gonna take 600 damage for this. Super poly. Okay, I'm glad I did this now. Boom! <laughs> you paying premiums! You are paying premiums for existing in my game. Yeah, brother, if that was a little stronger, yeah, you better play it in that. Boom! Ah, oh, shit, now I'm gonna take some damage. Ah! Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. He's burning. He's burning. I love it, but I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous because I have... That was my last line of defense. Raigeki! <laughs> Raigeki! Boom. Oh, no. Not me, too. Ah! Back to you, Kali Yuga. <laughs> My mirror deck being annoying. You love to see it, but I am up against a wall if I've ever seen one. Oh, brother, please. Oh, wait, this is going to help me. This is going to help me because now I activate my Mound of the Bound Creator. In case you want to summon three cards, we're going to bring out the Sphere Mode. This is a warning. Consider this a warning shot. You will get Sphere Moded, brother. Boom. Dark Spell Regeneration. Oh, my God, I'm vibing. Let's go. Come on, this is Merrick. You are dueling against Merrick. Deru. Ooh, and Rainbow Life, we are protected it. We are protected it double time. I don't care what your traps are. I don't care what your traps are. I will simply beat you over the head here in a second. I don't care about any of those. Those are all trash. Matter of fact, edit, edit, edit a little garbage can on all four of those little garbage cards. Ooh. I don't think he's going to summon three cards because I've already run his deck thin, brother. I play my Millennium Revelation. Go ahead, negate it. I don't care. I don't care. Activate Millennium Revelation. I can discard one Divine Beast. And guess what I get to add to my hand, brother? I can add a Mostari Bond. Now I play my Mostari Bond. And guess what I'm going to take, brother? Since you were, since you was getting active with this card earlier, how about I get active with this card now? I'm going to get rid of one of your back. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, solemn judgment it. Oh, you gonna pay dearly for having 900 life points left. That's that's no fair, bro. That's no fair. What's crazy is I can get Monster Reborn back. Your negate cards don't scare me. Why don't you solemn judgment yourself some bitches, bro? Ooh, watch this big brain play. Watch this big brain play I'm about to have. Okay, all the Zodiac, blah, blah, blah. He's trying to... His end game play is to get Zeus out here. Zeus is a pretty scary card. It can get rid of my whole field. Uh, I think this does something bad too. He's getting rid of my Millennium Revelation. Oh no. Now I won't be able to get my Monster Reborn back. Is what I would say if I <laughs> wasn't able to still get it back at some point later in this duel. Okay, go ahead, attack. Q, I activate Dark Spell Regeneration. Hey, let me borrow this really quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and just because Zeus is gonna show up at some point. Should I not take damage right now? Yeah, yeah, just because I think he could, he'll, he'll clear my board regardless. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna gain life points for this attack. Boom, boom. Give me some more life points. I appreciate it, brother. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Now he's gonna bring Zeus out. He's probably gonna use Zeus's effect frame one because uh, he doesn't want to risk Zeus getting destroyed. <laughs> what you thinking about over there? Go ahead and play your top tier deck, bro. Play your high tier, top tier deck against my simple, outdated Merrick deck. There's so many bad draws that I could get in this deck right now, man. Oh, there's so many cards that would be so bad to draw. All right, hurry up, man. We get it. You're playing your whole extra deck and Zeus is gonna come out. Let's stop wasting our time, man. All right, here it is. Uh, introducing Zeus. This card is very good. Help, however, this is one of those really bad cards that I did not want to draw. I'm going to go ahead and activate this now. Uh, let's get rid of all the spells and traps. I couldn't destroy this because it wasn't in attack mode. I'm pretty sure Lightning Storm, all attack position monsters. And you use the effect anyway. Why are you stupid? God. Oh, you're so lucky I'm playing this deck, bro. Holy crap. You're so lucky I'm playing this deck. My guy's wasting two materials right now for no reason. Oh, never mind. He's just gaining material. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm the dumb one. I don't know how to... I don't I don't play good cards, so I don't know how this card works. Okay. Admittedly, you got me. I think we're going to lose this one, man. Oh, we were putting up such a good fight, though. We're going to have to take this. Just don't be a horrible draw. It can be a bad draw, just not horrible. Oh, He's gonna just get rid of it, man. So if he detaches two materials, he just wipes my board. Oh, this is bad, man. I don't think, I don't think I have any way of winning. It's such an uphill battle to play with this deck, but it's so fun. I'm trying to think. There's no way you're that dumb. There is no way you're that dumb. I refuse to believe you are that dumb. Like, I still need to draw a miracle card here. There's no way you're this dumb. There is just no way you are this dumb. There is just no feasible way that you would do this against Merrick. You are a clown. You are a clown, clown mask, and you can't attack me. There is just no possible way that you did that. What do you have? What do you have? A oh, lava golem, my man. Pop the effect lava golem, pop it. Oh no. No, he has something to defend it. Oh, brother, but how long can you survive? Okay, so he negated the effect. As long as he doesn't have something to get rid of my back row, we're good. Oh, defense mode. Oh, he's spooked. Oh, he's spooked. He's spooked. He is spooked. He is spooked. He is spooked. Go to the shadow realm. It's time for you. Ah, surrender then. Go ahead. Let's go. He knew I had lava gun. He forgot. <laughs> yes yes holy sh and it barrack onto my body <laughs> there was never a doubt clown <laughs> oh my god i gotta scroll up he must have forgot because didn't i get lava golem manually with doom dog like early on in the duel but he just completely for yeah so mystic tomato got destroyed and then i brought out doom dog then when doom dog got destroyed I added Lava Golem. That was on turn. That was like turn three, man. Turn three. And the duel ended up being so long. <laughs> turn 21. That's gaming. I had that plan, brother. I knew that was going to happen. Turn three. A turn, a move on turn three impacted and won us the game. We are Merrick. 
We are Merrick. Simply leave like million subscribers. All right, one more duel. Uh, I don't know if lightning will strike twice. I changed my little picture thing here too, by the way. I'll let God decide. Am I going first or second? I'm going second, that's fine. I will simply win. I am Merrick. Merrick. Just let me start with sphere mode. Okay, I will, I, I'll, I'll take this. Play two cards that negate. Play better. I hope this is Sword Soul. E. This guy's playing Elemental Heroes. It's actually a good idea for this Limit One event. That, that sounds pretty fun. Okay, Stratos adds one Hero Monster from the deck to the hand. I'm gonna go ahead, and he has nothing I can take from his graveyard. I'm a little worried about Harpy's Feather Duster, but I'm gonna play these two and set my Mystic Tomato in defense and end my turn. All right, what does this guy do? Send one hero from the deck to the graveyard, boom. Sounds like you gotta pay a premium. I'm sorry, brother. You're gonna be paying a toll every time you do something that throws something to the graveyard. So if you wanna summon a lot, you better be ready to play the shadow game. All right, what does this do? This card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one hero monster from your deck to your hand. Nice. Wow. He adds a liquid soldier. Vion's gonna banish to add one polymerization. By God, is he gonna fuse? Have you left like yet? I caught you. I caught you. Look at that like button. It could be blue. Did you know that? Click it. See what happens. All right. Polymerization. This is going to be a toll of, uh, I reckon, it's going to be a toll of 900 because polymerization is going to get sent away as well, man. Absolute zero. Boom. Pay a premium. Boom. Pay a premium. <laughs> oh, this card is annoying. I love it. Like he's not cautious now, but if the duel progresses long enough, He'll have no choice but to get cautious. He got rid of his lightning storm. He must have Harpy's Feather Duster in his hand. <laughs> You've attacked my Mystic Tomato. Ow. Now I get to special summon with Mystic Tomato. And I think, oh, I got options though. That's what's crazy is how I got options. I'm going to actually go into Sangan. It's going to hurt, but the card that I pick up will be useful because it's not a Merrick video if I don't summon you know who we got our lava golem cheese but we didn't get our winged dragon of raw cheese okay let's go now i can pick up any card with less than 1500 attack i'm gonna go ahead and grab my guardian slime i do have to be careful about this because if this card leaves the field then i uh, just gonna destroy oh it's just destroying all my monsters easy i just won't play a monster easy easiest little uh predicament i've ever been i wouldn't even call it a predicament That might be a predicament, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna make something work out of this. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt both of us, man. You you playing a dangerous game. Ow! Damn, man! Okay, now I get to pretty I bet he sees legendary feet and he's like, bro, what? I know what I'm gonna do. I know, I know what my big play is now. I mean, it has to be revised because Lava Golem is gone. I was definitely gonna lava golem this man. I will call of the haunted now. Yeah, let's call of the haunted now and bring out our Guardian Slime. Ooh, holding arms. I'm about to hold your arm here in a second, man. Uh, okay. God, I'm gonna this paying this premium is gonna kind of hurt me. I ain't gonna lie to you. What you want me to lie to you? I'm not gonna lie to you. First, let's go into our Egyptian god slime. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. But now I get to activate my guardian slimes effect. Allow it, brother. Allow it, brother. To grab my ancient chanter. And now I'm going to play. My ancient chant. I can grab a winged dragon of raw from my deck and add it to the hand. God, I'm losing life points and uh, having life points is pretty important when you're playing winged dragon of raw, but we gonna figure something out. But my best move is to finish him off in one attack, if that's possible. I have an idea. It's risky. We're gonna send away our immortal Phoenix. Oh God, oh God, could this work? Could this work? Oh, it's so risky. I'll banish my ancient chant. Now, this time. Oh, great beast from the sky, please hear my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. Envelop the desert with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your powers from deep within so that together we may win. Appear in this shadow game as I call out your name, the winged dragon of Ra. I didn't want to give my life points because 
If I gave my life points, Skull Invitation would have cooked me. Battle! Winged Dragon of Rod destroys Stratos! Ah! Take damage! Okay. I have an idea, but it's just too risky. It's too risky. It's too risky. Face down! Face down! We didn't win in one foul swoop, but we can work with this situation. We can work with this situation. I'll set a monster. Necrofusion? Oh, you gonna pay a premium for that one too, brother. I got a bad feeling one of us is gonna lose to Skull Invitation. Oh, the Shadow Game cooking. The Shadow Game is cooking. Uh, uh. Who, who, who gets made out of that? Who gets made out of those? Magical Steel Knight, who? This card was fusion summoned. It could make a second attack. That could be bad, but you can't attack over my Winged Dragon of Raw. Okay, that, that might hurt. Ah! But I had a contingency plan. Rise from the ashes as an immortal phoenix, the winged dragon of Ra! Ah! Come on! Let's go! Oh, I've never summoned this card. Oh, this is sick. 4,000 attack. Can't be destroyed by card effects. I don't think, I hope, unaffected by other cards effects. Let's go! Oh no, but the only issue is it's gonna go away next turn. It's gonna go away next turn. Oh, that's so wack. You should be able to keep it. Because it recycles for a sphere mode. Always reading all the effects, man. He's sitting here reading. He's never seen this card in his life. And he can't attack. I think he would lose. Because that would be, because like, if he wanted to crash with, with this idiot, one, it wouldn't even affect my card. So his effect, like destroying my monsters wouldn't even work. And two, the damage he would take, it'd be 1,500 plus the loss of his monster, so that'd be 300. So he'd lose like 1,800. It's too risky. His best move is to just end his turn. God, this sucks though, man. Ah! Oh. And he got rid of my Lava Golem earlier. I am in a tough spot. <laughs> I'm in a tough spot, man. Oh, and when this card goes to the graveyard. What? What are you grabbing? What little dork are you grabbing? One of my cards? Probably Slime. If he's smart, he'll take Slime. Guardian Slime? Are you dumb? Egyptian God Slime would have been way better. Egyptian God Slime can't get destroyed by battle. Moron, what are you doing? What are you up to? Unless he's just gonna use it as like tribute. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it only gains defense. It only gains defense. What are you doing? <laughs> Time reading and still fuck up. How do you spend that much time reading and still fuck up? <laughs>